I love beautiful things. I love the rhinestones. I love the, the, the bling. The more that rhinestone shine, the better I like it. But Mardi Gras is a period of time of feast before Ash Wednesday. Uh, you go into celebration of, of carnival and partying and, and fat, that's why you see Fat Tuesday, which is a French word. Basically because that's when you eat fat foods and party and have a good time. The queen and kings, uh, they reign the city, going through the city on their floats and the big parade all day on Mardi Gras day. But to just have a queen and king over with your organization is just awesome. My name is Richard Edwards. I am King Alexis I of the Mobile Area Mardi Gras Association. I've known Miss Pat for quite a, some time now. Um, I met her a while ago when I was just, uh, I was in middle school. Her husband, Mr. Richardson, used to tutor me for math. So we built that relationship and I always used to say that I wanted to be king one day. So I would come in and, you know, look at her work, look at the decor and stuff in her home. And it just, you know, it gives you a thrill or like a rush and you get excited because it, it puts you in the mind frame of you actually being a, a royal king. And so to actually witness this moment and to be able to take place and fulfill this position is something that I, I could have never imagined. Like it's a, a great feeling. I'm an only child and my mother was a seamstress, so I would hang around my mother back in the day. We didn't have daycare centers and all these things that you young people have now. You stayed at home with your mom. So when she's sewing, I'm around there and I'm always around her, around her leg, watching, watching her do things. So we talk and I watch. I told my mother, I said, well, you know, I gotta go shopping, we gotta get some new clothes. She says, nope, you're gonna make, make whatever you wear. I said, oh no, I can't do that, oh yes. I have a room full of fabric out there. You're going out there, you're going to pick some fabrics and you're going to make your outfits. And from there, I started making clothes all the time, making my clothes and enjoying designing and creating different designs that other people didn't have. I'm still that way. I'll go shopping not to purchase what everybody else is, what everybody else is purchasing because I'm kind of eclectic and I like things different. I like to stand out and be my own person. I don't like to have the, the, every, what everybody else have. And I started working with MAMCA, Mobile Area Mardi Gras Association, which is the largest African-American uh, organiza Mardi Gras organization here. And then my niece was in the court. And her, my sister-in-law said, you must make Pam's train. I said, oh no, I'm not ready to make, oh yeah, you have to make Pam's train. So I made Pam's train and ever since then, I've been making train, that was 30 some years ago. So I've been making uh, trains ever since. And so now I do very little work that's not rhinestones. I'm really, I like a lot of beading and, and a lot of crystals and uh, Sarasi crystals and, and Austrian crystals. I do use some sequins, but everything is hand sewn now. I don't do any gluing. It, it's a long process. It's a very long process. It takes a good six months to really make a quality, quality king or queen's train. I don't do all this by myself. So I'm not, I'm not an island. There's a group of people who work with me. Like I was telling you, my ladies downstairs, we all get together and we work together and create. I've cut back uh, on the number of trains I make now. I think this year we made two, four, I think we made six trains uh, this year. Now we've made up to 13 trains in a year. I do it because I love it and I enjoy it. Watching my subjects, I enjoy going to the coronation and watch the lights and see them moving and everything just dancing and blinging, and moving all over the place. And everybody saying, ooh and ah. And they're, my clients, they're so proud and they're walking and you can tell they're, they're proud of their attire. And it just makes me feel so good. You know, that, that's probably the most rewarding part of, of it, is watching them and watching all the bling bling.